do these people ever get any better? I am asked that question a lot, and if you're looking for a quick answer, fear not, because it's no. Most people with any kind of disorder are not getting better as they get older. It's usually quite the opposite, and narcs are absolutely no different. This video is going to discuss some reasons why a narcissist gets worse, not better, as they get older. Number one, they fear being alone. As all of us get older, the circles that we run in begin to shrink down. Older narcissists get to the point where they retire. They're no longer seeing the people around the office. The kids grow up, the grandkids grow up, and they move away. We lose our parents. Our friends are getting older just like we are, and we lose some of them along the way. This can make narcissists very scared of ending up alone, and this can lead to narcs seeking as much supply as possible and maybe even being more aggressive about doing so because the fear is daunting and very overwhelming to them. And this can make the narcissist appear meaner, nastier, and more desperate because they are. That fear of being alone, dying alone, is getting more and more real with each passing year. Number two. They need other people a whole lot more now. This goes hand in hand with my first point, so I want to tie them together. Narcissists have a huge fear of being alone, but what's interesting about these folks is as they get older, they need more people, and this hurts their self-image, their very, very inflated self-esteem. Narcs want to seem strong and powerful. They're little evil super geniuses. There's nothing they can't do. There's nothing they can't handle. And it's hard for them to be seen now as an older person who might need help getting somewhere or doing something. It ruins that really false narrative that they have about themselves. Number three, they don't handle change very well at all. And it's no surprise <laughs> that a narcissist doesn't like to change. For a person like this who needs all the control and all the power, getting older is a lot to handle. Living situations are changing. They might be losing loved ones, physical decline, financial decline possibly, and all of that stuff are very big changes that can cause a narcissist to be really mean and horrible to others due to the fact that they're just getting older and all these different changes are happening. And of course, as we get older, sometimes the mental health and those things begin to decline as well, making those changes even harder. If you'd like to talk with me one-on-one -on -one about what you're going through, you can text, call, email, or visit my website for information on how to set up a phone chat with me. That information's on the screen for you now and down in the video description. Number four, they have less responsibility. Eventually, we all get to the age where we do less and less and less. Great. Just what a narc needs, right? Less responsibility, like they have a whole lot to begin with. But there just comes a time where kids and grandkids, they're gone, you retire, maybe you're not traveling so much, and they do. They revert back to a child who takes no responsibility. Similarly, narcs take full advantage of this. I mean, once someone reaches a certain age, people are more forgiving of those folks. You look at the crazy old man or woman who's ranting or raving in the grocery store about something silly and you just give your head a shake and you go, they're old, whatever, and you just keep it moving. And maybe you've even heard somebody who's narcissistic, who's older, say, hey, I'm blank years old. I can do what I want. I have earned the right to do or say whatever I want. Number five, they have less empathy if this could actually be possible. I mean, it is what it is. We all decline as we get older. This is also going to happen to a narc. They already have limited, at best, <laughs> capacity for empathy, for sympathy, and those things. And like everything else, that declines over time and gets worse. As they get older and potentially more sick and have more problems, it really becomes even more so all about them. When they're old and they're sick, guess what they care even less about than when they were younger and healthier? You. <laughs> so once more, this can lead to out-of-line behavior and an even more pronounced lack 
of remorse for the absolute deplorable, disgusting behavior that they display. Number six. Yeah, they just can't pull supply the way they used to. Money goes, looks fade, marbles are lost. (laughs) So shit happens. And this is way more devastating for a narc than it is for the rest of us because this all leads to one overall arcing problem for a narc, a decrease in supply. Like I said in my first few points, losing things that they're used to having can cause them to look for the supply more aggressively. And supply just doesn't come as easily anymore, and the need is ramped up. Along the same lines, you might see them doing something that would be uncharacteristic of themselves, but perfect for a narcissist. They might pick sources who maybe they wouldn't have picked a few years ago if they were in better shape. They're making desperation picks. This person isn't top tier supply, but eh, it's better than rolling over in the bed and nobody else is there. They can run down the aisle maybe one last time to get married and find a long term source. Some narcs, as they get older, even begin to pick supply based on medical needs or maybe nursing home care and other things like that. Choices change drastically with age. Number seven, they lose all their control over others. Yeah, this one really (laughs) pisses them off. Let's say, for example, the narc is 80. Okay, they might have some school friends left, but after 60 years of putting up with someone's bullshit, I mean, nobody's going to want to be controlled. Nobody's going to want to stick around to continue to be abused, especially as these folks get older. My dad died back in 2020. He was 72, I believe, because he didn't make it to his 73rd birthday. He died during COVID, obviously, so no one was gathered around his bedside, but it was because nobody could be. But honestly, if he was still alive and he died tomorrow, nothing would change. I wouldn't be there. I have older half-sisters. We have the same dad. They're not going to go. My mom wouldn't go. Friends? What friends? He was a mean, nasty, uncaring, unkind, miserable old man. I talked to my dad on the phone two years before he died. He made fun of my mother. He called my stepfather a swindler, referred to one of my sisters as an angry, frumpy little woman, and was unbearable and mean and insulting and cruel for the 20 minutes that we were on the phone. And I got to be honest, it was one of the most disturbing phone conversations I've ever had in my life. Of course, there was no, I'm sorry, no, let's get together. No, I love you. No, nothing. And it was awful. I swore after that, that I was going to stop trying to connect with him. And I did. That was the last time we talked and he died, like I say, two years later. And he didn't love me, so I had to let go of that, and I did. But my very, very long-winded point, which for the six of you (laughs) who made it this far, this is what happens as they get older. Not many people, if anybody, are hanging around to continue to be abused. There are no long-term people, and more people, and more people, and more people fade away, and they lose all of that control. So you tell me what else happens to a narc as they get older. Share with me, like I say, down in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.